Hi everyone, this is Heatbox, and I'm back with a new camera, a new sewing machine, and a new video. The materials needed are the same as always, so I'll just skip to the process right away. For the skirt part of your dress, take your figure and your fabric, and make sure your fabric wraps around your figure at least two times. Making sure of your measurements, trim so that the rectangle is the same height as your doll. If that's done, take the bottom edge, then fold over and hem so you get a clean lining. Now for the important part. Sew across the top of your rectangle with a loose stitch, then pull to make it crinkle. Mind your stitch width. If you're using a sewing machine like I am, simply pull one of the two strings hanging from either side of the rectangle to wrinkle the material. The reason I used a sewing machine for this is because this way I can get a steadier wrinkle since the stitches are more fixed in length. After evening out the wrinkles for utter perfection, I line up the skirt and the will-be top of the dress to estimate how long the bust should be. Then I take the top piece and the skirt piece, stacking them so the good sides face each other, and sew across. The dress is starting to take shape, so I fold over the top once more and sew, pinning it in place to form the waistline. For the waistline, it's important that you have a specific design in mind. That way you can make adjustments to fit your needs. In my case, I'm going with a wider waistline because I figure that'll give the dress a more romantic look. Meanwhile, we also have to work on the straps. The straps are easy to make, just fold leftover scraps two or three times so the raw edges face inside. Hem it, trim it, and that's it. Keep in mind that straps can give the impression of sleeves. Since we're done sewing across the top, the main bodice is practically complete. All we have to do is dog ear the sides, sew them in place, then flip and connect the back for a decent tail opening. Here I'm assembling the straps and the bodice to double check if they're coordinate to the figure's body. If you're inexperienced in sewing or making dog clothes, this is a crucial step because it might prevent a DIY disaster and possibly minor depression. This is also the step where you can start thinking about whether or not you'll add decorations such as beads or buttons. Unfortunately, I couldn't manage to film myself sewing the tail opening and the straps due to lack of camera space, but this is the final result. And that's it! After dressing the doll, I noticed it looked a little plain, so I added a few buttons in the front. Feel free to add your own little charms to make the dress really pop. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Sylvanian clothes making tutorials. Thanks for watching. Ebox signing off.